What's up guys, Vulcan here, and welcome to the latest episode of Inventory Wipes in Outriders. So, since our last update, Outriders has continued to monitor and implement preventative measures against inventory wipes. Now, these are some server-side changes that have apparently helped reduce the occurrences since Saturday. Now, they're currently testing a new game-side patch to fix the issue permanently and will provide us with an update as soon as they possibly can. Now, out on Reddit, the memes are flowing. A lot of them are really funny. Um, a lot of people have been playing their alts because they're too afraid to play their mains, which is kind of nice because people are getting to experience an alternative play style. So I know myself, um, I decided to jump in and play my Devastator, and that's been a lot of fun. I actually did like a little challenge, and the gameplay here is I basically played the entire game by just meleeing everything. Um, the Titan in me from Destiny 2 really wanted just to punch things in the face. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna play through a Devastator and I'm gonna see if I can make a melee build just work 100%. And it's been going pretty good. Um, it's pretty fun so far, but it has a long way to go in order to really clear anything higher than like a challenge tier three um, in end game. But anyway, let's get back to the point of this video. And that is an update on how you can prevent this inventory wipe from hitting your characters and basically smashing the reset button on all of your progress. So some of the key things that they've put out there, obviously we've talked about in a different video, but just don't play your main is probably the number one way to prevent it. Just don't play that character you have all of your gear on. But remember, this also affects your stats. So there are issues there. Number two, don't play multiplayer. Just play solo and avoid those connections because they're seeing a very big increase of individuals having all of their stuff wiped when you play multiplayer with other folks. Now, if it does happen to you and you log in or you get out of an expedition and you see all of your gear is completely gone, then go ahead and hit Alt F4 as soon as you possibly can to completely kill the application. Now, the reason here is they don't want it to sync with the server and then cause issues with the database. And once you do that, then go back and relaunch the game and hopefully you'll still have your stuff. You have other individuals and creators out there like DPJ who was playing with his brother. He got booted and they thought he lost all of his stuff. Turns out everything thing was just invisible because now there's a visual bug that also plays into this where it'll look like all of your stuff is missing but it isn't you have to go place it into your stash and then pull it back out of your stash in order for it to be visible again so so the hits just keep coming it's like not only do we have this white bug now we also have a visual bug where maybe your stuff doesn't all get deleted but it looks like it got deleted which is going to cause some false positives and those are going to skew the results and they're going to really cause some problems in trying to pinpoint the actual white bug versus a visual bug. So there's just a lot of issues really kind of intertwined and coiled together that's causing a lot of issues for the devs and making this whole process much slower than it needs to be. And just as a reminder, they are still planning on doing that large item restoration. So if you do have your stuff deleted, it should be coming back. Granted, it will be with randomized stats. So if you have a god roll piece of gear that got deleted, it most likely will not have that same god roll on it. And if you are someone who was affected, they do have a Reddit thread out there. They want to know all of your information. What platform were you on? What exactly happened? What was the day and date? How did it happen? When did it happen? What was your affected character name, your class? What section of the game were you in? If you're in Expeditions, was this in the Expeditions camp? Multiplayer, random matchmaking, friend matchmaking, connectivity setting, crossplay. Did you play the demo? There's a whole lot of stuff that goes in here. And I just want to give a big shout out to the Maladorian. Um, they got a bunch of awards here on this Reddit post, but this individual and their friends decided to create alts and try to recreate the bug to better avoid it. And they were successfully able to recreate the bug four times over 20 attempts, which is a pretty decent success rate. And the friend also experienced the bug halfway through the game when leveling their mains. So here are the steps they took to recreate the bug. So keep this in the back of your mind if you plan on doing any of these things. Number one, they created the alts and they skipped the prologue to get gear faster. They joined each other in Rift Town. They proceeded to start the side mission to save the shop girl. At the sign of autosave, both of the non-host players forced a disconnect. So they all F forward or force closed the application through task manager. They reconnect to the host. After this point, if the player loaded in without any gear visible or the character was invisible, they had a 100% success rate of recreating the inventory bug. As soon as they began loading in, they closed the game again and they signed back in to check 
their gear. They were not ever successfully able to recreate the bug if the disconnected player loaded in and had their gear equipped or was not invisible. They also waited twice for when the character didn't have gear or was invisible for the gear to reappear or the character to become visible when they did this and they forced close after they never lost their gear. So good stuff here. They went through and they were able to actually recreate all of this and it's helped out players quite a bit. Um, you have the Arkin who is a, a Square Enix employee commented and said, you know, thank you very much. Really appreciate you guys and appreciate all the effort you put into this and even creating a semi reliable reproduction of steps can and will greatly help us to being able to reproduce produce this issue and solve it. So good stuff here. And it just really, you know, kind of warms my heart seeing community members take time out of their day to actually go in there and try to recreate this bug to help get this game back on its feet. Because there's so many players and so many content creators that have either moved on or temporarily paused their Outriders content because they really don't want to risk losing everything and having to start over from square one. Like I said, I've been running alts. My stash doesn't really have too much stuff in it, which is weird to think about, but I've just been doing that and I haven't really done anything on my Technomancer. I've been doing things on my Devastator or my Trickster. Would I like to play my Techno? Of course, but I also don't want to get all the stuff that I've built up completely wiped out. So this is really good. Hopefully you guys don't run into any of these issues, but I did want to give everyone just a quick update on here's where we're currently standing. Here's how Outriders is handling situation. Here's some community members that are going out there and taking time out of their day to try to recreate this issue and help fix it. So good stuff out there for everyone. So I'll be keeping my eyes open for the next update. Hopefully it's a good one where they say, we've killed this bug, it's done. Let's continue moving forward and we're gonna work on other things now because we really need to put this one to bed. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. Let me know in the comment section below, has this bug happened to you or were you able to use some of these tips to hopefully avoid it? I wanna hear from you. So let's get talking in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for the support. This has been Vulcan and I'll talk to you next time.